All right, I'm checking in on everything I missed while I was down in Shavana, and someone requested this Clemson comeback. Clemson got a losing record. They're facing 25th-ranked Virginia Tech. Virginia Tech is up by one run. They got two outs in the bottom of the eighth inning, four more outs, and they win this thing. And here's how it unfolds. A hit by pitch. Meredith gets hit right in the face. He's going to go to first base. The pitcher says, I don't really know. Can you check it out? Can we go take a look at that? Because I don't think it hit him one bit. And then we go and see the replay, and yeah. What are you talking about, Blue? Dummy. Didn't hit him one bit. So the other umps, they jog into the clubhouse, take a little piss, come back, say, yeah, you got to go back to the box, man. You got to hit again. So he steps up to the box, and then he works a nice little walk. So he's on base either way. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. A two-out walk. Now Dylan Brewer steps up, 0 for 3 on the day with two strikeouts. He's a lefty. So VTech says, you know what? We're going to bring in our lefty. He's got a mullet and he's nasty. Little Randy Johnson action. He hits that dude in the face. And everyone's like, is this ump just obsessed with calling hit in the face, hit by pitches? Because that didn't look like it hit him either. But he said right away it did. And according to my uh, forensic analysis, I think it didn't hit the glove hard enough here to make a big sound or at all and in live speed there was a big sound so i think he got it right so now james parker's up he's 0 for 3 with a strikeout the three hole hitter gets the outside fastball strike one nice 76 mile per hour curveball for strike two now he's probably trying to throw that curveball again way in the dirt to get him to swing over it again instead he throws a little lollipop looper and that guy Puts it in the seats for the three-run go-ahead home run, and that guy does not make the catch uncontested, basically right in his lap. Feels bad about it. Look at that pitch. That's not a good 0-2 pitch. In fact, I'd say it was a bad 0-2 pitch, and so would this guy, who's very excited. Meredith's excited. He's going crazy. Grace? Grice? What's that guy's name? He's excited. Brewer? He's excited. He got hit in the face. And it was all for something in the end. Getting hit in the face and it not being worthwhile, that would suck. Parker comes across. Big three-run home run from the three-hole hitter. Everyone's celebrating. I don't know why I put that replay in twice. What do they got? Everyone's got a little torch that they get. And then we go to the top of the ninth. They bring in their dude. He gets one out. He gets two outs on the strikeout. Love that. One more out to go. And where was that pitch? That's what this guy wants to know. Come on, Blue. It was right there. 2-0. He's got to fight back. 2-1, two, 2-2, two, two. and that's that's the curveball the other dude was trying to throw. That's a nice two-strike. I mean, that was a sharp break, not a little looper, and he's out, and Gilbert seals the deal, and Clemson comes back. Now they're one game below 500, but this was a little bit ago, so maybe they're over 500, or maybe they're even worse now. Virginia Tech, big-time losers in this game. Here's some random highlights from the rest of the game. Oh, I left this on the screen because I wanted to let you guys know that if you're a baseball fan, go check out John Boy Media Baseball YouTube channel because the Chris Rose rotation is crazy impressive. Chris Rose is making me like every single player that talks into a mic on that show. Sequence by Trevor Plouffe. He did a breakdown on the time he caught Jordan Hicks tipping pitches. Um, he's talking about, uh, he, had, he had Dozier on to talk about his home run in the wild card game. Everyone's just putting out great content, gearing up, getting ready for the regular season. So go check it out. Didn't even mention the compound, which is hosted by Ian Happ. So go, go subscribe to John Boy Media Baseball. They're doing some great stuff over there.